Hello YouTube, hope you guys are all doing well today and welcome to another episode of Staying in D1. Before we get into this episode, my thoughts and prayers go out to anyone who's stuck in Hurricane Sandy. Um, I know it's been really rough for you guys in New York and everyone on the East Coast, so hope you guys are all safe and sheltered and doing well. Uh, let me know if you guys make it out all safe and sound without any scratches in any case we come up against this guy we're using our 352 city outside we come up with this guy he doesn't really have that good of a team but he is in division one and you never want to take anyone in division one too lightly um, we do a little bit of skilling here he lunges into the tackle and again we get another penalty you guys have realized that we get a lot of penalties as of late and there's none other man to take this rather than Mickley himself who's going to go right down the middle. He doesn't press up on the right stick and it's going to go in every single time. So in the fifth minute there, we're going to go ahead and take the 1-0 lead. Here we're going to go ahead and build up the play again. I'm not really using LB and A here. I'm just pressing A and letting my players do the running themselves. And if Cavani's going to break free and slot it into the right corner of the net there, we're going to go ahead and go up 2-0 in the sixth minute. Two quick calls back to back. And we're going to go ahead and try to score another one here. I go ahead and do a skill around him. Fake shot, stop with the ball. He makes a beautiful challenge, gets the ball back, pauses it. I'm like, all right, maybe he's making a sub. But actually, he ends up quitting. He ends up quitting. It was 2-0. I was dominating the game a little bit there, but I guess he had had enough at that point. So we're at 13 points now, four wins, one draw, no losses. Things are looking good for us. We have five games, 13 points in, and we're in really good position to get 21 points now. So I'm feeling really confident. We're still going to continue using our team. Again, our stars of this team are our defense. Our defense is absolutely immense. If you guys have not used them, try out Italian defenders I said it in our last episode so we come up against this guy who has a 4-1-2-1-2 BPL side he's got plenty of pace everywhere absolutely everywhere and um, he eventually here builds up the play in, in the early minutes of this match and Aguero's gonna get the ball and look at this great strike from him boom right past my keeper after he scored that I was telling myself wow that is a striker I must use. Sergio Aguero is one that I have to use. I absolutely loved him last year. I don't know why I haven't used him this year. It's probably I definitely have to go check him out after this game. But again here, I'm not using LB and A at all, guys. I'm just simply passing the ball up the pitch, and the attacking AI is good enough to make the runs for me. Get a little unlucky here to lose the ball, but look at this. Mikkeli's going to track down the ball. I predict this throw. Get the ball, and we're going to finesse it right Pass Joe Hart. Yes, sir. Mickley's got a great little finish shot on him if you guys have not used him. This is his inform version that I'm using. Um, not sure if it's a big upgrade from his normal version. I only use his normal version very briefly. So I uh, couldn't really give you a huge review on him. Eventually here again, you guys can see no LBAing. Just simply passing the ball up the pitch and breaking free with my, with my attackers making their own runs. Here, Cavani's going to play defense for us. He's going to do a great job getting the ball for us. He's got a high, high work rate, guys, so sometimes he's out of position. We're going to feed the ball to Wesley Snyder. And look at that beautiful shot. Top corner, the Dutch delight, Wesley Snyder with a great goal. Oh, we're going to watch that again. That was a beautiful shot. Wesley Snyder. Last year, one of my absolute favorite midfielders. This year, still my, one of my favorite midfield, midfielders. Love using him in a 3-5-2. He's absolutely great. Um, eventually here... He's going to cross the ball, but we play some great defense. <laughs> he gets it back. Look at this crazy volley on his end. We just could not clear the ball. It hits the post. We get a little bit lucky, um, but our keeper, DeSantis, makes a great save there. We're going to go ahead and throw this one out of here. Get that junk out of here. And it's the 88th minute, and there's only one thing that's going to happen. We play good defense. So 88th minute, we play good defense, defense, and it's coming up. You guys are going to see he's on ultra defensive because none of his attackers are up, and it hits the the post from the corner yes sir we get lucky again and i'm freaking out here i'm like no i thought he was gonna shoot it but we play good defense and clear the ball and that's gonna be the game ladies and gentlemen 2-1 and we get the victory again this city out team is doing absolutely great for me playing great defense all over the pitch love it love it love it wesley snyder and mickley with our two goals to give us the victory and that's how this one's gonna end ladies and gentlemen so if you guys do like this episode please give it a thumbs up if you guys like 
like this content, please subscribe to the channel. You guys saw the Mets. That's their pretty even game. So glad we came out with the victory. We're at 16 points, four games to go, five wins, one draw. Things are looking great. Stay tuned tomorrow for a new episode of Staying in D1, guys. Take care. See ya.